China. Yeah. yeah. China. Yeah. That's how do you color them? It's all naturally dyed, yeah. electronically dyed. Yeah. So that's the good thing is it's waterproof yeah. and it's good for uh, it's it won't uh, be bad for your health as well. Yeah. And I put the colors in water for two months, no color comes off. I'm from I'm from a very small village in China, tiny. Tiny. You, yeah, you couldn't find it on a map, any map. You couldn't find it because it's too small. The population is about one thousand people. Wow. So oh. every family knows every family. Actually, less than one thousand people. Okay. Amazing. And uh, what? Um, when when did you come to the UK? And um, two thousand one. It's yeah, um, ten years now. I came for my master's degree in business management at uh, Harvard University. And why did you do choose business management? That's because <laughs> what that's what my parents wanted me to do. Um, according to Chinese culture, you have to do whatever your parents want you to do. You have to be whatever your parents want you to be. I see. Mm. Okay. And when did you start your jewelry business? Um, seven years ago. Before that, I worked at a chemical company as a marketing officer um, for two years, one less than two years. Um, and I just I wasn't interested in it at all. Okay. And um, the jewelry, these wonderful pashminas that, that mm. you make. And the pashmina is made in China. They are made from recycled wood. What I do is I work with uh, um, furniture factories, use their unwanted pieces. So try to um, promote the concept of using more and more um, recycling material to help the planet, to help um, the environment. And so, um, did you say they come from furniture factories? Mm -hmm. yeah. And the colour? The colour is Yeah. The colour, they are all environmentally friendly, electronically dyed. So, they are natural colours, they won't cause any harm for human beings' body. And also because it's environmentally friendly dyed, so no stuff will get harmed by the paint either. Yes. And it's also waterproof. Um, you can wear it in the you know in when the it's raining. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's so waterproof. In, in the I, shower. Yeah, yeah. In the shower. <laughs> yeah, you can try it, yeah. <laughs> because I put it um, um, in water for two months and then no paint comes up. Comes off. How long does it take to make one of these strands? And um, if the stuff is fast, about a half an hour per strand. If she's new, um, she's slow, about 45 minutes. I remember you saying that your workshop for making these are, is in Guangzhou. Yeah, it's in Guangzhou. Mm -hmm. okay. How many people do you employ? Um, five people. Five people? Mm -hmm. they tell me how being in the UK or coming to the UK helped you match your creativity with your business education to create your business and be as successful as you have been? Certainly I think if I were not living in the UK, I wouldn't be as successful as today. I wouldn't be who I am today. I wouldn't achieve anything like this today because um, in China, I have to do whatever my parents tell me to do. And in the UK, because it's a very liberal country and it's a very um, multicultural country, so I can be who I am, I can be what I am, and I can. I think as long as I have a dream and as long as I work hard, my dream will become true. That's why. 
I love this country. I'm so happy to be British, really. You know, because when I say this, normal English you no know, British people won't understand me because they just take advantage of it. They don't know how liberal, how much freedom they are having in this country. But I can because of my background. I know you were recently in New York for Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. Tell us about how successful that was. And the show in New York was a huge success. We were there for three days and we were almost, it, it, for the th whole three days, it's all almost non-stop. Just orders after orders, orders after orders. And we didn't have time to have lunch. <laughs> so when I got home, and that's why, um, before I left here, literally one minute, I mean the night before I left, I was still arranging the orders for the U US um, customers. Because some of them want to have their products as soon as possible. Mm. So Possibly. yeah, it was a huge success. I was um, very surprised because it's my first show in New York. Oh, great. It's a new market. Yeah, it's you? a new market. Yes. Yeah. And what has been your experience here in Lisbon? It's a beautiful experience. Um, I, to be quite honest, I didn't expect um, uh, the installation at Lisbon Fashion Week can be so successful. And when I got the invitation from the British Council, UK Tia, and the British Embassy, I thought, okay, I'll just give it a go because it's. A, I was told it's a beautiful city, so I treat it as a holiday. But actually, I'm so happy now because not only I had a great experience um, with the city but um, the show is also going well and I got so much help from the British Council, UK here and Thank the you. British Embassy. So yeah, I love, you know, I just love Lisbon, love the Portuguese. So I'm planning to do more work with uh, the British Council, you get here, and the British Embassy, and Portuguese. their Portuguese, or Portuguese local manufacturers. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.